Join me as I dive deep into the biblical text to uncover the jaw-dropping connection between Iran's missile attack and ancient prophecy. You won't want to miss this. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing something different. You're just hearing my voice for the first time and not seeing my face. I'm going to try this out and see how it plays out. So let me know in the comment section if you like it or not. Today, I want to explore the fascinating connection between biblical prophecy and modern events, specifically focusing on Iran's recent missile attack and why this topic is more relevant today than ever before. Guys, there's no doubt that tension in the Middle East have been escalating rapidly with Iran's missile attack on neighboring countries and U.S. military bases make headlines around the world. The world is breathing and wondering what's next in this high stake game of cat and mouse. But what's often overlooked in mainstream media is the ancient biblical narrative that seems to be playing out right in front of our faces. Iran's actions have sparked a fresh wave of fear, uncertainty, leaving many to wonder if we're on the brink of a global catastrophe. As the world titters on the edge of chaos, it's essential to examine the roots of this crisis. Iran's missile attack are not just random acts of aggression. They're a deliberate attempt to assert its dominance in the region. But what drives this ambition? Is it mere politics or is there something more profound today? The answer lies in the ancient biblical text which vividly depicts a region torn apart by conflict and war. The prophet of old foretold of a time when nations would rise up against each other and the fate of the empire will hang in the balance. But what if I told you that these prophecies are not just ancient history, but a blueprint for our modern world? One of the most striking biblical texts that comes to mind is Ezekiel chapter 38, which describes a future conflict between Israel and a coalition of nations led by Persia, which is modern day Iran. The parallels between the ancient prophecy and current events are nothing short of astounding. The prophet Ezekiel writes of a time when Israel will be a restored nation, surrounded by hostile neighbors and threatened by a powerful enemy from the north. Sounds familiar? Fast forwarding to the present day, and we're seeing the same scenario play out right now. Israel is a thriving nation, surrounded by hostile nations, with Iran emerging as the major player in the region. But that's not all. The prophet also describes a time when God would intervene in human affairs, bringing judgment upon the nations that rise up against his people. Is this not what we're seeing here today within the rising tension between Iran and Israel? This is not what we see? Mm, convinced. Another key biblical text that shed lights on our modern situation is Jeremiah chapter 49 which speaks of Elam, an ancient region that corresponds to modern day Iran. The prophet Jeremiah writes of a time when Elam would be judged for its aggression against Israel and its cities would be left desolate. Is this not what we're witnessing today with Iran's missile attack on neighboring countries and its aggressive expansion in the region? As we dove deeper into this biblical text, a stunning picture emerge, one that is that our modern world is not as chaotic as it seems. Instead, we're witnessing a deliberate unfolding of biblical prophecy with Iran playing a star role in this ancient drama. But what does this mean for us today? Well, the most compelling connection between biblical prophecy and current events is the unmistakable parallel or unmistakable pattern of judgment and redemption that is unfolding right before our very eyes. Israel's missile attack are not just random acts of aggression. They are symptoms of a deeper spiritual reality. 
The biblical prophets foretold a time when nations would rise up against each other, but they also spoke of a time when God would intervene, bringing redemption and restoration to his people. There's no doubt the implications are profound. If we're seeing biblical prophecies unfold right in front of our face, then we must take heed of the warnings and the promises contained within it. We're not just passive observers of this global drama. We're participants called to play our parts in this ancient narrative. In conclusion, the biblical connection to Iran's missile attack are nothing short of breathtaking. By examining the ancient biblical text, we gain a deeper understanding of the motivations and the desires that drive modern events. We're not just witnessing a random act of violence. We're seeing a deliberate unfold of biblical prophecy with Iran playing a star role in this ancient text. I hope this video left you speechless and I love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more content on biblical insight and current events. Let's continue to explore fascinating connections between ancient prophecy and modern reality. God bless you. God bless your family. And I'll see you in the next. Thanks.